Hi guys, here's another one being listed tonight or tomorrow, hopefully. This one's Cinderella. It's made from the Vintage Golden Book. Has three signatures, vintage fabric spine. Why she's, oh no, why she's it's so silly. Sorry, silk. Has a sorry silk closure in my brain. All right. So let's just get through this pretty quick. This is vintage feed sack that I covered the little pocket with. We have a library card and a vintage Disneyland card with King of Hearts. Little fabric tab. This is a Mickey Mouse head made from the storybook. I don't think the whole story is here. I, I think I rescued this book, so I've used as much of it as I could. Vintage pattern. This is from a book, a sewing book. Little tag with measuring tape ribbon and the little mice. Dictionary, vintage dictionary page. This book turned out so pretty. This is from a 1940s lace book, How to Make Lace. Vintage notebook paper. The vintage seed packet. Mickey Mouse, vintage Mickey Mouse paper. I don't know if they still sell it. It's from back in the early 2000s. That paper. This is leftover paper from making the book, and we have a little vintage kitty cat card, playing card. This is a vintage shoe, shoe tag. I saw one of these in the Tim Holtz book, or bought the bag of ephemera that, he, that they sell, but this one is actually real vintage. It's not from Tim Holtz. We've got a Project Life card and a vintage piece of current stationery with strawberries. This is just a leftover piece of paper with a little lace belly band. There's part of the book. This is from a, an old child craft book. I thought it was fun because it said cinders and soot. Ledger paper. This is from an old fairy tale book or poem book for children, but it talks about little Polly Flinders who sits among the cinders. This is from a vintage Disney music book, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. And it's the table of contents from the front page. Vintage shopping list. This is from an old cookbook. Midnight Snack Supper, because you know after you go to the ball, you need to go have snack. Women's Clothes and Fashion, this is from, uh, oh, what's the name of that book with the, I can't remember the name of the book, the one that tells you how to do things. Bingo card, it's pink to go with Cinderella. An etiquette book, that's what it was. That's what that thing was from, that page was from. There's another page from the book. These are old Project Life cards. This is a this is a Project Life card and this is an old notebook piece that I had. Little card. Steno paper. Here's a little tag that I made with some fabric sewed on, sewn on, leftover paper from the book. Make sure it's still in there. Here's a little bit of coffee paper, just a little bit. Another Project Life card. Here's another page from that lace book. from the sewing book, a piece of vellum. There's another page from the book. This paper's so pretty with the edge all trimmed out. Made it into a pocket on this side, and here's a Yahtzee game 
scorecard. And paper, paper, there's some more coffee paper. There's another page from the book. Oh, this is uh, Washing Clothes the Old Way from the Child Craft book, which is the way we dry our clothes, since Cinderella did a lot of laundry. This precious thing is from the uh, Disney Monopoly game, I believe back in 2001, Cinderella's Coach. I thought that was perfect for this book. This is a clock poem. I believe it's from, oh gosh, my brain is not remembering anything today. I remember all of them. It's from, uh, it's vintage. Oh, that lady's name, not Mary Inglebright. Joan Walsh, England, England? That's who it's from. This is so pretty. This was from one of the science books, an old vintage science book. I thought the flowers were so pretty. Here's another tag. This is made from lace from a baby's dress. More paper. Romance. This is a children's dictionary page. Paper. This is a little note card from Project Life and a guest check. This says introductions, greetings, and farewells and the art of conversation. This is a coloring page from my old coloring book from when I was a kid from the early 80s. Here's a cute, cute little playing card reminded me of Cinderella. Hearts on the back. We have vintage, vintage buttons. You can, I don't know what you do with them. They're really pretty. They look good in here. You can use them, sew them onto other tags or use them in other projects. But I thought they were perfect to go with Cinderella. This is a little note card from my favorite store in downtown Disney or Disney Springs now. It's called Bibbidi. It says Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, and the, the store is called Sugar Boo and Company. One of my favorite stores. They have the cutest stuff. They made a little pocket right here out of an envelope. There's mice. This is an old vintage flashcard. This is from an antique flinch game. This little card right here. It's got a tuck spot under there. I believe the game was from 1913, the one that I found. Here's another pocket, another Mickey Mouse head from the book. We have a Project Life card, a bridge score sheet, and a piece of paper left over from making the book. Another page piece of paper from the book. There's lots of room for pictures and journaling in here. Page from the sewing book. Here's the other side of that. Here's the other side of the Joan Walsh England page. There's a, a vintage flashcard. Here's the other side of the washing. Coffee paper. I love this from Maggie Holmes. Leftover paper there. I just taped it down. These birds were so pretty, I had to put them in here since she talked to the birds at the beginning of the movie. Oh, I guess I should just leftover paper in the little pocket here. All right, we're on our last signature. There's the prince and her at the ball. Little pink sack with some goodies. There's a Scrooge McDuck money in there and a vintage Rolodex card. More sewing paper. This says Charming Pink. It's a paint sample. Not vintage, but I thought the name was appropriate. Project Life card and a cute little card from one of the games. I can't remember the name of the game, but it has all of the characters on there. And on the back, it has questions about the characters. paper. Here's a piece of vintage music called Clocks and Watches. Is 
This is from an, an antique children's book. I put vintage wrapping paper on the back because it was really old and crispy. So this kind of gave it a little extra strength so it could be in here and have the page turned. But it has the clock on there and it talks about the different times. Beautiful page from a vintage flower book. Here is an apron pattern page. Little piece. This is from, I think, a smash book tablet. This paper is so cute. Steno pad, vintage graph paper. Keeping neat and clean. This is from a child craft book. There's a pumpkin on here. Saturday night bath. This is a vintage flashcard with the time when she turned back at her coach turned back into a pumpkin. This is the teacher, I guess, that had it. Here's the other side of that paper, the page that was talking about time, the children's book. This has an alteration tag. This is from Tim Holtz. It's not vintage, but it has alterations, which is really cool. This is an old typing book. There's the other side of that. More paper. paper. Here's some more goodies. There's paper and a vintage recipe card. The other side of that little pink baggie and it has a period absent, an absent list for teachers, for school, a Rolodex card and another piece of paper. And that's the end. And right here I've got some Mickey Mouse confetti. This is what they used to throw at the parades and uh, the cutout Mickey heads. And that's the end. Thanks, guys. I hope you like it. Bye.